The University of Bristol and the University of Kenyatta in Kenya are both part of a project organised by Hewlett Packard called Hewlett Packard Catalyst Initiative. And the idea is to bring together universities that are completely different to work together to try and create new and different kinds of outcomes. So what we were trying to do was bring the sort of filmmaking approach that we use with our trainee teachers in England over to Kenya to see how the Kenyan teachers would react. Many of those came from really quite rural schools. They travelled up to eight hours to get to their meeting. And through Hewlett Packard's sponsorship, they'd all been given laptops and we were able to give them cameras as well. And we taught them how to use the cameras and the laptops together to make short films about science that they could use in their teaching. And then hopefully they go back into their schools and continue to make these films uh, and train their students to make them as well. And what we're hoping is that the students will start to make little films about science in their area, maybe the animals and plants that grow and live near where their school is. And they'll make short films which we can share together around the world. I knew that uh, our teachers required some extra information about integration of technology beyond the basics of using the computer. And I needed that the teachers should be able to produce their own lessons and upload them on the internet as one of the major activities that will make them focus on how to improve and support learners in math and science. But giving them the cameras and showing them how to edit any film was very exciting for them. And they, they, they are inspired. The kind of knowledge acquired is going to really uh, captivate the, 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 the learning, the learn, our learners at home. Personally, editing using Serif Photo Editor has been a new experience, it has been real fun. Today I learned very much about uh, how you can uh, take videos, how you can edit them, and how you can internalize the whole thing in the teaching and learning sector. Very much grateful. And I'm so much having the fire, or rather burning up to apply what I've uh, learned today. How I wish that uh, every laptop had a gadget of that kind. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they are going to go a great length to improve their lessons because they have seen the possibilities that the camera and the laptop can do to promote the teaching and learning when they are combined. We hope that the teachers will get confident in using the equipment and actually teach their students to make short films as well. It would be wonderful if the students could make short films about scientific ideas in their area. And we could share those films across the world because children all over the world are interested in, in what goes on in other people's schools. We think this is a way of teaching science in a more active way and it's something that we're, we're trying to promote both in England and also around the world in Africa too. Kenya is particularly well developed in terms of its ICT uh, and children in Kenya are getting access to the internet in their schools and they're beginning to explore what it means to be a modern digital country.